Now, Sergio Perez's latest race was quite a questionable one, as he wasn't able to make it past turn one in an event in which he was outperformed by his biggest nemesis for the Red Bull seat, Daniel Ricciardo. Although the team backed up his move and labelled it as a pure racing incident, it's safe to say that the progress made by Ricardo is not one Red Bull can turn a blind eye to, which could eventually turn into a very interesting and dramatic silly season in the foreseeable future. With how Lawson has proved that the Alpha Tauri can score points, and with how Ricardo has proven to be back to his old self after Mexico, are we going to witness some major changes ahead of us? Daniel Ricciardo has been the star of the Mexico GP, and his performance has undoubtedly affected every member of the F1 community positively. Obviously, to put the worst car on the grid at P4 and to finish P7 with it, with his result being negatively impacted by the red flag as he was running smoothly at P5, is definitely not something that we can play down. This is something that Red Bull has also recognised, and Christian Horner was full of praise for his driver, who is currently on loan in the Fienta base squad, as he added, It's great to see Daniel performing so well and fully endorses the reason why we brought him back into Alpha Tauri. I thought he was outstanding this weekend, fighting Mercedes in an Alpha Tauri, and if it were not for the red flag, he would have finished higher up. So it was a great performance and certainly looked like the Daniel of old this weekend. Look at the time delta to Max, it was less than a tenth, so a remarkable performance by him. He's back to his old self, you can see he's relaxed, he's confident, and he came into the weekend fully motivated after a tricky Austin coming back from injury. I thought he did a great job this weekend. Furthermore, it's worth noting that Ricardo was also in the fight with Russell for P6 for quite some time, as he couldn't really make it stick to the end and complete the pass, finishing half a second behind the Brit in a far less superior machinery compared to the Brackley base squad. All of this was highly praised by Red Bull. But where did all of this performance come from all of a sudden? One thing is for sure, nothing of this came in luck, as Alpha Tauri made sure that they would listen to Ricardo's feedback and implement it onto their car properly. Obviously, Austin was not the right indicator for the form of the Honey Badger, because there weren't many chances for the team to set up the car in the right operating window, and Ricardo had to drive a car that was more suited to Sonoda's style rather than his. And coming into Mexico, he had a chip on his shoulders, as he said in his own words, mostly because Sonoda finished 10th in Austin and was promoted to 8th, winning the fastest lap on the last attempt, as well as gathering 5 points for the Italian base squad. Now, one week later, you have Ricardo on 2 tenths of a second behind the pole sitter Leclerc, and right next to Verstappen, a scenario that he would have signed with both of his hands, and most importantly, he qualified ahead of Perez. This is when he announced that he feels like his old self, and time will tell what he's capable of doing, as Ricardo is also aware that one bird does not bring the spring to your porch, and one race does not mean that he's already the hero that Red Bull desperately need to replace Perez. However, there are certain circumstances in which Red Bull cannot turn a blind eye, such as Ricardo having the potential to back Verstappen up due to the fact that Mercedes, McLaren and Ferrari are all catching up to Red Bull. Even though Verstappen is winning the races in a common matter, Leclerc has won two pole positions back to back, something that was also seen in the past with his low pole to win ratio. But if you're Red Bull, the last thing you want is to risk something that has the potential to ruin your dominance until 2026. With recent rumours circulating about Aston Martin being sold and Lawrence Stroll pulling down from his role, taking Lance with him, there is a spot opening for Perez, who could see himself in a much more relaxed environment alongside Fernando Alonso. Even though Aston Martin have dropped severely in their form, they're expected to be fighting up front in the coming period, something that Perez would definitely play a massive role in with the new owners if Lance and Lawrence pull back from the sport, as the rumours say that the sponsors and investors have grown tired of having to deal with a non-functional father-son relationship that's effectively burning their money. If this turns out to be the case, then we would have two very interesting scenarios we need to pay attention to, Ricardo to Red Bull and Liam Lawson to Alpha Tauri. 
Although many have dubbed Red Bull to do the switch between Ricardo and Perez, because this would effectively mean that Perez will still be part of the team in 2024, as Horner and Marco promised, it's just a different environment. There is a high opportunity that Perez would deny such a collaboration, because it doesn't make any sense for him to go the extra mile of proving himself yet again when the spot in Aston Martin might be open. On the other hand, you have Liam Lawson, who's eager to prove that the P9 finish in Singapore was not a one-time show and he has a lot more in his chamber. And the team with which he scored this may have what it takes to build his F1 career to a further extent. Eamon Horner himself said that Red Bull have big plans for Liam after his strong debut, so the situation is definitely worth covering from a more careful perspective in the following months. According to Martin Brundle, the Sky F1 pundit, there is definitely a chance that Perez might lose his seat throughout the 2024 season, as we might not even see him race in Mexico City anymore. And during the red flag situation in Mexico, Brundle commented, There is a question in the back of my mind, are we going to see Sergio Perez racing here again in Mexico City? There's a lot to talk about his future at the moment, and on days like this, does he think, you know, I've given it everything. I know I've got a contract for next year, but is it all worth it? Red Bull knows that Mercedes and Ferrari and McLaren will be coming at them next year and they need two drivers on their best form. There's a question of, there's a contract and Red Bull wants him in the car. He wants to be in the car. Formula 1 needs him in the car. Just look at this place. Everybody wants that to work apart from a handful of racing drivers who fancy his seat. Can Red Bull afford to take Sergio into next year if he's just not in form? My goodness, he does need some decent races in these last handful. But what is the verdict from Red Bull's leaders? Obviously, both Horner and Marco are adamant that there is no place for another driver in 2024 in Red Bull. And that still doesn't shush down the rumours that this might be one of the last races that Perez has raced in his hometown. Now, one of the reasons why is that even though his teammate has sealed the championship with six races to spare back in Qatar, the difference between Perez and the third place Hamilton is still kept alive at 20 points. Even after the Austin disqualification of the seven-time world champion and with Perez finishing fourth and bagging 12 points, the Mexico GP saw the Brit bringing the battle back and putting pressure on the Mexican driver to keep his seat alive at Red Bull. If there is one thing that the team stressed out more frequently than normally, it's the importance of finishing 1-2 in the driver's championship. And even though Horner is adamant that there is no place for discussion revolving around Perez's seat and this condition, there are many statements in which he and Marco stated that this is the priority of the team considering how dominant Verstappen is. Anything below this will result in huge disappointment in the Red Bull camp, and whether Perez likes it or not, he would have to face the harsh reality that his colleagues Kvyat, Albon, Gasly, and most recently De Vries have faced on their own skin. With this in mind, there is still a lot to unfold in the last three races in 2023, and even though the championship is more or less sealed, Perez's future in the sport is all but certain. So, do you think that the veteran driver will survive the charge from Ricardo and Lawson for both Red Bull and AlphaTauri seats? Let us know in the comments down below.